Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Warcraft Rumble dungeon guide video, I'm going to take a look at Black Fathom Deeps on an Undead Week, and more specifically, this Blood Mage Talon's Unbound Cheese deck that makes first boss a walk in the park, but is also capable of clearing the other bosses at red difficulty. So in this deck I have Necromancer, I have Skeletons, I have an Execute, I have Whelp X, I have Safe Pilot and I have Earth Elemental. So as you can see it's four Unbound, a Spell and a Necro. And the strategy for the first boss is a rather hilarious one. The general idea was recommended to me by a viewer who said, hey on the first boss I just throw Unbound minis at the boss. Well, I didn't have quite the same talents, but I made it work with whatever I had available. So indeed, on the first boss, you just play unbound minis there. The first boss is going to summon some minis near it, so you try to avoid those. Maybe sometimes you need to time your unbound minis a little bit later. But overall, it's just Earth Elemental, the safe pilot, the well the skeletons, and also Execute. Execute deals damage to the boss, and I have the talent on Execute that gives bloodlust to my minis. So with all of those, I was actually able to clear a 21 with this. So even though it is a cheese strategy, it works up to two levels above your minis on the first boss, which is pretty hilarious. The trouble comes a little bit more in the second boss, because in the second boss you can't cheese the same way, because Gargo is going to come in and it's going to kill your base. So you actually have to take some towers. But you have some excellent tools here for taking those towers, because you have the wellbacks, you have the skeletons, you have the earth elemental. So you still have tools that you can use to take those towers and then attack the second boss. And against Gargoyles, well, you have Necromancer. Necromancer is excellent at killing Gargoyles. And you have Talnos. Talnos himself is also excellent at killing Gargoyles. So you have some of that anti-air that you so crucially need. And then for the third boss, basic strategy. Open up at the left, take down that head, take the tower. And then once you have killed all the initial heads and the last three heads remain, you can actually do a bit of unbound spamming on those three heads because they don't have a ton of health. So this works surprisingly well and it's pretty hilarious when it does. And this is what it all looks like in action. So here we go, first boss, let the cheese commence. So yeah, I might send a miner out there to try to open the chest, but now I'm focused on the boss. Let's go, let's just jam some unbound at the boss, earth elementals, skeletons, well pegs. Those ogre mages are a little bit annoying, sometimes I try to kill them, sometimes I just have to wait until they walk away. Or try to position my minis so far away that the ogre mage doesn't attack them, like see, ogre mage just ignores those well pegs. And yeah, we can keep fighting, we have some stuff, <laughs> bloodlust, more ogre mages, unpleasant, a little bit unfortunate. But we're winning the race, as you can see, my base is not taking nearly as much damage as the Murloc is. And we just keep dropping stuff on it. And here we go, and boom, it's already down. Yeah, the easy way. Unfortunately, you cannot cheese the second boss quite the same way, because those gargoyles will kill your base before you get the boss down. So now I need to start attacking some towers. There's some gargoyles coming, but hey, I have the Necromancer and I have Talnos. So I have tools that can definitely kill some gargoyles. I'm trying to use my Unbound to keep the others occupied, getting some safe pilots out there, just blasting a little bit. Those Bat Riders are a little annoying against my Necros. Necro sometimes dies to them, although Necro is surprisingly sturdy and doesn't always immediately die. So here we go, we we'll just keep blasting and we're about to take the first tower. Wonderful, Necro doing a lot of work there. Okay, now we have one tower. Then we want to get to work on the second tower, although there's, there's stuff coming. On this map there's always stuff coming. But we deploy Talnos to help out with this. Talnos is slightly better against Bat Riders than Necro. Talnos is attacks deal area of effect damage, so they just end up end up killing Bat Riders no matter what's going on everywhere else. And then we start to work on that tower. Second tower, let's go. Talnos doing a lot of work there. We can drop a safe pilot out there and boom. Second tower is ours. So now there can be no goggle spam directly at my base, which means that now I can start assaulting the boss. Here, it's important to pay attention to what's going on. Sometimes you need to come back to defend, because it's surprisingly hard to race this boss. This boss can take some beating. So, 
you can't always just keep raising. Sometimes you need to go back and defend a little bit and then, then stabilize and then go back to the boss. I have lost this map multiple times when I have just decided, hey, I can raise this. I can, I totally can. And then realize that no, I cannot raise a gargoyle very effectively. Gar raising gargoyles is... It's really, really difficult. Because gargoyles deal so much damage to base, especially when they're higher level than your base. But now everything is looking pretty good. We're keeping the boss, we're keeping everyone occupied. There's no gargoyles that would be right at my base. Sure, that's that one gargoyle that is coming and it is going to take a sweep towards the tower. I'm trying to defend against it. Again, that Talnos AoE. That Talnos AoE damage is just sweet. Getting some skellies out there as well. With the Exhumed Talent I get a bigger bunch of skeletons when I deploy them close to a tower or a meeting stone. So we are able to regain the tower. All right. And then we renew our assault. So sometimes go back, defend a little bit, then go back on the assault. Can't quite just cheese this with the unborn. At least I have not been able to. So just regular gameplay. All right. Now we have double talents. Now I'm wondering, could I raise this? Because raising this boss is really, really hard. It's surprisingly sturdy compared to your base when there's a gargoyle coming. Now I can hear that my tower has been destroyed. I'm trying to execute and give Talnos a little bit more attack speed and Talnos is pushing. But what about my own base? It's about to... yeah, two gargoyles are closing in. Now we're all in, but the boss is so low it will go down. Phew, just barely. And then the game goes down, but hey, that's just rumble. Finally, there is the third boss, and here just the basic strategy. Take the left side first, because you need to take down that head, you need to take that tower, and then you're going to be stable, and then you can start attacking all the other heads. I would probably need to do a little bit more unbound spam here once I'm stable. I will need to work on that a little bit, but here, assault on the tower, the head is trying to kill all of those attackers, but there's so many of them, and the necro is just blasting through the head. And all right, one head down, one tower taken, an excellent start. I'm trying to support the necro attack a little bit there because the necro attack seems to be going so well. But there are some minis coming. I'm still trying to give it, give it a little bit of support. But I would also need to start focusing on this head. Using the skeletons at the meeting stone so I get as many as possible. But they do evaporate quite quickly to the poison. Actually, now I got the second head down, the left, second left head down a little bit early. But yeah, well, there's a bunch of stuff coming already over there. All right, all three heads are down. And now the next thing I need to do, I need to stabilize my position and then I can start an assault on the remaining heads. And here I think I would need to do a little bit more unbound spamming than I did. But let's see. Skeletons also an excellent defensive force. Five skeletons just tanking for my base can really help my base survive. Because there's those big groups that tend to be coming in this map. There I should have used the safe pilot on the bridge to kill everything underneath the bridge. Instead I wasted a necromancer there. So despite the really great early start, now things have not been going quite as well. I mean, I'm not losing this, but a draw is a possibility if I can't add more pressure. And there's definitely a lot of stuff coming all the time. And I'm a little limited with my with the power of my deeper pushes because I have so many unbounds, but here I probably just need to spam unbounds a little bit more. I think that would be the solution. By the way, yeah, there's raptors and there's harpies and everything coming again. So, all right, I'm trying to get, I'm still trying to get these Necromancer Talnos pushes going. Because Necromancer is quite strong, as is Talnos. I have the relic here that makes my minis walk faster, but it doesn't apply the summons. So that means that the Necromancer is going to go ahead of the Skeleton Mages, which is actually really bad. So, so sometimes, sometimes those talents can also, or relics can also backfire a little bit. Now positioning Talnus behind the tower, so that th now the tower will tank for Talnus, and Talnus AOE is going to destroy that push. And I'm trying to get another push going, but there's harpies coming, and those harpies are 
good against my skeletons. I don't want to let the AI mine. So I'll deploy one safe pilot over there. Up is um, so low health there, not going to be a problem. The base is going to handle them just fine. I would need to... Come on. Need to do a little bit more unbound spamming here. I'm still thinking that I can make a push happen. I can make a slower push happen because there's still plenty of time. But I can get some necromancers going and then I can just form such a big ball that it's going to kill all of the bosses at once. But bosses are throwing quite a few minis at me. So at this point I start to realize that okay, actually this assault from the back it doesn't look like it's going to happen all that well. We need to get to work on the bosses themselves. And here we go. We start unbound spamming on the first one. And ironically, that actually helped my necromancers also get into action here. Because that meant that the AI pushes didn't go so deep towards my towers. So it was quite a, quite a good supportive strategy. But now there's so much going on. Necros are dead, just some skeleton mages remain, but we have the unbounds, because because of this strategy we have a lot of unbounds. So let's just deploy some unbounds and start hitting at that head and it goes down. And there. Unbound partial G strategy with Talnos clearing red difficulty Black Fathom Deeps. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.